Hello and welcome once again to Speakeasy, where we focus on people in the public eye. And as I have told you before, each week my guest is somebody who is a leader in his field, and this week is no exception. With me today is Jose Carlos Plaza from Madrid, Spain. Welcome, Jose Carlos. Thank you. Jose is one of the directors, the artistic director of the National Theatre of Spain and he is in this country for eight months on a grant that was provided to him by both the Spanish government and, American and the American government. government. So you're yeah. studying theatre in this country? Yes. Yes, yes. What, first of all, what are your impressions well, so far? First of all, it's, uh, excuse me my language because it's, I speak English very bad. I don't I think anybody will have any difficulty <laughs> understanding. Okay. What are your impressions? impressions? Now, this is your first time in, in the United States. Time, yes, is, uh, my impression is, oof, it's impossible to resume my impression. Is, um, I, feel, I felt and I feel, I am feeling like a um, spaceship, you know? <laughs> Everything uh, passed very quickly, very quickly, and uh, a lot of things to do, a lot of things to, to look at, a lot of things to observe, to learn, to live. Oh, fantastic. Well, those of us who have lived in New York feel that way anyway. You don't have to come from Europe to feel that New York is like a spaceship and passing by very quickly. Things happen here so fast. What about the theater, though? Come, now, you're here to study American theater. Yes. Uh, uh, the main thing is the, the actors. You know, not the play. I love in the theater in general, you know. But I, I am, my specialty is the, uh, the working with the actors on the stage, the rehearsal. And I am studying in, the, in a several schools in New York with actors. Uh, which, for instance, which schools? Uh, um, HB yes. with Uta Hagen, Real Stage with uh, Geraldine Page, um, Stella Adler, fantastic. Yes. And and now in the well, actor studio, of course, only absurd server, the audition, fantastic too, and uh, the neighborhood playhouse. This is the most important, in my opinion, in for, for me, you know. The neighborhood playhouse uh, yes. is the most important. In my poor opinion. You're certainly in the finest schools in New York, the finest yeah. drama schools, but why is that school in particular important to you? Well, it's the, the last one. the, yes, the last. Yeah, because it's the school uh, we well, is the, the school of Sandy Meisner, and Sandy Meisner is a long story. <laughs> Sandy Meisner was the the teacher of my American teacher in Madrid, because it's very important for me to stay here, because I learned with a marvelous, fantastic um, teacher, American teacher you in my country. You had an American drama teacher in Madrid. In Madrid. Who was that? William Layton. William Layton. Layton. Tell us about William Layton, for those of us who don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, my, all my life is him. Is uh, one day, well, baby, when I was many, many years ago, 16, 17 years old, I, I began my study with an unknown, especially to say unknown man, yes. I don't know, yes, that's right. an American, he speak Spanish, like, like I speak English now. Well, then but the Spanish must have been good. <laughs> Thank you. No. And uh, the first day I, I learned by heart Hamlet, you know, of course, because I, I like Hamlet? to Hamlet? Yes. You learned by heart? Yeah, I, I, to be or not to be, because I <laughs> like to be an actor and to be or not to be war. And I am ready to, to, to act in Hamlet. The first day. Took on the most challenging yes, role you of could think course, of. Yes. And uh, this teacher sit down me and said, "Stay, sit down." And the other fellow asked uh, you, uh, I don't remember, more or less for one account of money, one hundred pesetas. I don't know. On the stage, one and the, in the rehearsal, in the, rehearsal. In the class. Yes. One yeah. actor ha had to ask you for. Yes. One hundred percent. Only this. You remember, I, I, I wanted for, for to say to be or not to be, you know. Yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, well, I said, okay, this is the teacher. This is American. <laughs> <laughs> I silent. I, don't ask questions. Yeah, don't ask questions. <laughs> and I, uh, the the, fellow, the other fellow uh, asked me, please, 
look at me and said, please give me one hundred percent. And I did, of course. You didn't ask him why? No, no. You just this is the most important thing. And the teacher um, said to me, why? I said, I don't know. <laughs> so well, the next time you must uh, uh, know why everything. Why you speak, why you enter on the stage. When, when. So he was uh, testing you for motivation? Uh, yes, ah. and, and the, the, well, a lot of things. This is a little anecdote, is possible to say? Yes, anecdote. anecdote. Yes. Yes. Um, but was so important to me because I changed completely my mind. I, my, my ideas about the theatre was completely wrong. And I know <laughs> it was impossible for me to, <laughs> to play Hamlet in this moment, <laughs> and now, of course. And, uh, well, uh, in this moment, William Layton is my, of course, my teacher. I continue to study with him every year. He's my, I am very proud because he's my friend. I love him like father. He's my father. Mm -hmm. So William Layton is an American teacher, yes. and he is living in Madrid, and he is... For um, uh, 23 years. Ah, so he settled there. How, how long ago was... Uh, uh, how long? And why, why did he... Why? I don't know, really. I suppose uh, during the war, the Second World yes. War, uh, one bomb blew, blew, blew up. A bomb blew up. Uh, and his uh, um, little uh, heart of hearing you know, and I suppose after that he need to find a um, country quiet. In this time, 25 years ago, my country was <laughs> quiet. very quiet, too much, <laughs> too much quiet by force, unfortunately. And, but it was very quiet, very, very, very peaceful, I suppose yes, say. Peaceful. And uh, I, my country is lovely, you know, and I, I suppose the William Layton fell in love with my country and this year we are we were very lucky with this ah and then you of course were very lucky to find him as such a good of, teacher of course fantastic in my opinion the best the best but according to some of the notes that i read about you you managed to get a law degree before yeah. you became a director. Yes. Now, you met William Layton when you were about 16 or 17 years yes. old so you were very much interested in the theater then yes what happened? Why didn't you continue? Why did you stop and go to law school? No, I, because, well, it's a, a Spanish history. My father, my family didn't like that I, I study theater, you know, and I needed to study theater in secret. Oh. The afternoon, in the evening, in the morning, I studied, I studied uh, uh, law, and I finished my, my in, in Spanish, uh, we said, doctorado yes, is the title. No? Yes. And I gave it my father, my present, my, fa my father hang, hang up on the wall and they finished this story. <laughs> it's true. So you gave him what he wanted and yeah. then you were able to do what you wanted, go into the theatre. That's fantastic. I like that story. Well, according to the rest of the notes that I read about you, you have yes. been extremely successful and prolific. You have directed about uh, 25 plays. 25 plays, yes. You have acted in about 20. Mm -hmm. You have written three, three of your play. own, yes. produced them, yes. directed them, mm -hmm. and they were all staged in yes. Spain. In Spain, yes. You also have very good taste in theatre, I must say, Well, reading the these most credits. important thing is I have, uh, with William Layton, a mm, nice school of theatre. This is, mm, I am, the thing that I, uh, which I want, I, I feel more proud, you know? What is the name of your school? T-E-C, Tech is theater, stable is, um, is uh, I don't know the translation, stable is, is stable, uh, of Castilian. And you have new uh, young people who are interested yes. in theater, and you and teach them the way he mm, taught you yes. in the beginning? Uh -huh. The same thing. And you two have this together? Yes, in the same time, because there is a, 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 a term for the beginner and the other for the all actor who want uh, to, to learn and to training, you know. Master classes. Yes, master classes. Yes, fantastic. You also have your own repertory company? Uh, no, we, we are trying 
to get it <laughs> is, uh, is uh, our hope. In this moment, it's a little difficult because uh, we have a lot of economical problem in my country, you know. Well, yes. And this is a more expensive thing in the theater because you need the same actor, the same director, you know. It's, but little by little, it's possible the next year, it's possible in two years. Now, your theater in Spain, however, is nationally funded. Yes, there is a, there is a, our new government, is, in my opinion, is great in this, in the culture war, and he spent a lot of money in the theater. Uh, and my government has uh, one national theater. There is a municipal, municipal yes. from the city, of the city, yes. you know, the Madrid municipal theater, and um, it's possible um, one company round on the country, and and, uh, and the the Ministry of Culture give a lot of money for the simple companies. That's very good because oh, our theater fantastic. here in New York, you know, yeah. has a very difficult time. Yes. It takes a great deal of money to open a play here and then to keep it open. Yes, yes. I remember one case because I, I saw I saw um, the Edward Albee play, the last play, called The Man Who Had uh, Three, three arms. arms. I like it a lot and only three, three weeks. Oh my God. And then it closed down right away. I, and this play remind me, well, this case remind me a lot of flop in my career. It's very funny because the most, the play which I love more, you know, was <laughs> where the, the most important flop in my career. Really? Really. Don Carlos and other. Why do you think that these plays don't do well, let's say, here in New York when we have wonderful playwrights, we yeah. have Arthur Miller and Edward Albee and yeah. uh, these why do you suppose these plays don't do well here? And, and musicals, they open for months and months. Well, I suppose it's the same case in my country. Uh, the, the m most of the audience wanted, uh, want, want mm, to entertainment, you know? Ah, don't think about the problem, don't think about... Escape is Yes. Something. In my country, my, my country is, uh, is the same case. The musical, the, the, the funny, funny, the very funny, the very... The soap, you know? Like yeah. the, the TV soap is the best, the commercial theater is the best. The, the, a lot of audience, a lot of money. In this case, it's perfect. My government, my, because my government only pay the, the serious theater, not the serious, the, you know, the, the very important theater place. But I like the serious theater myself, and yes. I think we really should be su supporting serious theater, more classic yes. theater than anything else. Well, the uh, classics uh, don't have a very long life Yes, I, I, I am very surprised because no classic theater in New York. No. no. I am very, very surprised. Once in a while they try, yes. and yes. it closes. Yeah. As you oh say, people God. really like to be entertained more, I'm afraid. Well. And because this is the city of New York, and I know there are a lot of artists, a lot of actors and actresses mm -hmm. who try to get involved, I think people might have questions for you. So if we can just pause one moment, please let me interrupt you, and I will give the address yes. of the program yes. where they can write to you of or to me. Of and course. then those can be forwarded. And uh, of course. a lot of aspiring people out there would probably like to communicate <laughs> with you. If you have any questions, you can write to Speakeasy, and it's post, o post Office Box 2596, Rockefeller Center Station, New York, New York, 10185. And if you missed that address now, you can catch it again at the end of the program when it rolls with the credits and jot it down. Send any of your questions to Jose Carlos Plaza or to me, and I will get them to him. Thank you very much for that little announcement. <laughs> Um, I would like to show some photographs here that you were so kind enough You're to so kind. bring because I think they're marvelous. And as I said before, your taste in theater is superb. <laughs> you, have, um, you have directed Brecht and uh, Camus, uh, Tennessee Williams, Voltaire, Strindberg, O'Neill, Cocteau, uh, your own, of course. <laughs> it's wonderful. If I can hold these up to the camera, Jose Carlos, yes. you could possibly uh, tell the people yeah, of course. which play. Yes. This one, for uh, example. This is the, my first play is by Duramat. 
Frederick yes, Truman. The in English the name is the trial of the saddle of the donkey. The trial of the shadow of the donkey. The donkey. <laughs> yes. Okay. And this, this is my first. Uh, this my is first, your first, so it has a special place in yes, your heart. Yes, uh, I am very happy because now in this moment my student in Madrid they play in the same play. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, Durmat is alive and well and living yeah. in Switzerland, I yes. believe. Yes. This one looks interesting. This, this is the terror and misery from the Third Reich. Reich. The Reich. Third Reich. Reich. Excuse me. And by Brecht. And this, oh my God, a lot of remember, you know, because uh, we were able to play this play when Franco, during the Franco. Um, you were able to perform this during yeah, Franco? Yes, it's against Franco, of course. Yes, against, and... Uh, what fantastic experience, a little. <laughs> Did you have any trouble? Or? Of course, a lot of bomb and a lot of trouble. You Bombs? Bomb in, inside the theater. While, in the theater while this was yes, being performed? Yes, and the audience could get out of, of oh my God. Took a great deal of courage to do that, didn't it? No, for, 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 in this moment it was fantastic experience. Now that you're looking <laughs> back, <laughs> it's fantastic. This is the same play. This is a marvelous actor in my country, Begonia Valle. Fantastic actress. And it's the same play. All right, and mm. then we show. Uh, this oh, this is the, the the stick and bone. Sticks by and bones. Bones, bones by David Rapp, Rapp, Rob, mm -hmm, the new American play. Uh, I directed this play with William Layton together. That's wonderful. Oh, wonderful play. I'm very big, big success in my country. It's a very, very good play, and this yes. has not only been in the theater here; it has also been on television here. Yes. Yes. Oh, fantastic. He's a very, very good New York yes. playwright. Now what is this? This is the silly, silly lady. The silly lady? lady yes, <laughs> by Lope Vega. I wow. directed uh, with, uh, together with the other, well, other, uh, like Leighton, the best director in my country is Miguel Narros. And because Miguel Narros and William Leighton and me, uh, together we are the director of the tech, the, our ah, company. I see, three of you. Mm -hmm. This one, the set design is very interesting. Looking. This is the this play was uh, playing in uh, in New York three years ago, I suppose, off of Broadway. Is the new playwright, the Spanish new playwright, called Alfonso Vallejo. The name of the play is uh, Zero Line. Zero Line. Line. It's a fantastic play. What what was that about? Was it, uh, well, very quickly, so one train, you know with um, five, six, seven people inside. They are the, it's possible to say, mischief people, mischief. Is, what is the name of the, the last film of the Marilyn Monroe? Oh, misfits. misfits. Excuse me, misfits ah, people. Misfits. And the government, the dictatorship, tried to kill her. Ah. Fantastic. This one? Ah, this one is uh, Candido. Candide. Candide by Voltaire. The musical play, but different from the Candid by Voltaire here in New York. It's completely different. I can see that just by the stage setting alone. You have a, a band here on, yes. the, on the left. It yes. looks very modern. Yes, well, it's uh, one experience. <laughs> this is your yeah. own interpretation? You? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I made the translation and the adaptation. Ah, you yes. did? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is um, Lorca. Lorca is the. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> in fires. It's possible to in, say in, in fires. In fires is the. I don't know the style. I am. I am completely wrong about the, the pronunciation. Is surrealism? Surrealism. Surrealism. This is fantastic play. It's very interesting because it was wrote. Uh, he uh, uh, Lorca wrote the play after. Um, he stay in New York, you know, in the, a lot of influence by, by, from New York. For instance, in the, the next uh, uh, picture, yes. this is the rugby player, rub, rugby. Rugby player, rugby player. Yes, a football player. Yes, player. And this American is, football player. Yes. yes, and this is part of 
Lorca's play, and, and this is the, in other words, he lived here for a while. Yes. And then he wrote this particular, yes, particular play, play with a strong and American influence. Yes, yes. With and this best. man in his football uniform is yes. jumping on the bed of this beautiful woman. Ah, oh, beautiful That's woman. <laughs> yes, because he's the, she is the, the dream. He is the dream, the girl's dream. Ah, you the know? girl's dream. The, the erotic <laughs> girl. It's a beautiful photograph, too. This is other um, Spanish uh, playwright, Francisco Nieva. This is another production of my company. It's the tech production. It's a beautiful play. The same design is the, the, same, of the same man, Fra Francisco Nieva. The set designs are just beautiful. Thank you. In every one of these plays. That's this a marvelous the, photograph. One of the best actors in my country. He's playing in this moment. He's she. playing. She, excuse me. Yes, what she is, is uh, playing um, the strongest by Strindberg. What is her name? Irene Gutierrez Cava. She has a very good face. Yes. This is a wonderful photograph. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of very good actors mm. and actresses in your school. This is very famous in South America, in Mexico. She is called, his name is, she, she, she is called. Amparo Rivelles. It's very famous in Mexico. Is um, she is she is playing uh, the human voice ah, by Cocteau. Cocteau. Yes. Mm. Okay. And this. This is my favorite favorite play, uh, Don Carlos, oh, by yes. Schiller. Yes. The my great flop, <laughs> you oh. know, but it's the best, my best production. And this is also Don Carlos. Yes. Yes. This is also Carlos. Absolutely beautifully staged. I, I am. Well, and this. This is. What is the name of the actor here in, in the middle? This is in, in Don Carlos. In the middle Carlos. is uh, Alberto de Miguel. Uh, the, other, the other actor is José Luis Peicena. He's playing Philip II. Mm. Oh, this looks like Uncle Vanya. Uh, yes, <laughs> this is Uncle Vanya. Uncle Vanya Chekhov. is the directed by Leighton and, and me. Oh, fantastic. Do you often work together? Yes. Yes? Almost, always. And this last one? This last one is the, my last uh, work in Madrid. It's Emilio Gutiérrez Cava. is the brother of the other actors. Oh. Because it's the saga, you know, at the Barrymore. Yes, New like, York like is our Barrymore Gutierrez, family. Gutiérrez Cava family. He's playing Buchner, Buchner, yes. in the male of the Hessen, this, uh, the soliloquio, is possible to say. Solil no, no. The soliloquy. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a very forceful photograph, oh, yes. this. She, uh, he is fantastic. And then I have this wonderful, well, we would call it a playbill here, but mm. this is uh, your... Program, programma. Program. program, and this mm. is what everybody in the theater in the theater yes. gets yeah. this is certainly not uh, quite like our playbill this is very elaborate beautifully done las bicicletas son para el verano perfect oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> the bicycles are for summer mm -hmm. and for this was it this that you won the 1982 director of the mm -hmm. year yes that's wonderful what an achievement that is for you well it's uh, i am very very happy <laughs> with this you should be extremely yes. proud. Mm -hmm. Now you only have a few more months left, yes, don't you? Only two months. In the United yes. States, two yes. months, and then you will go back to Madrid and mm -hmm. continue to work. Yes, we uh, we have uh, the first. Uh, we have a lot of work now because Leighton will direct a uh, play by Alfonso Vallejo, the same yes, zero line, yes. and I I direct with him together. This is the best for me to work with Leighton, and after I. I hope, no, I am sure, uh, uh, I'll direct it, Hamlet, I was the National Theatre. I was just going to ask you if you Do ever you remember? got around to Hamlet. Yes. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Wonderful, yes. But unfortunately, you won't have the part you're going to be directing. No, unfortunately, it's impossible. I am directing. You have directed. to give the <laughs> part to somebody <laughs> else this time. Do you think you'll test that new actor the way you were tested by William Layton? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. That's a major work. Yes, and fantastic. I am looking forward. I am very excited. You can do several plays at once? Well, it's possible several plays running. It's possible to say running? Yes. Yes. 
um, in, in Madrid was running three plays directed by me, Dario Fo and uh, Bugner and the Bicycle Art for Summer at the same time. Now, you mean? Right? Yes, uh, one month ago. So in this I'll... moment, I don't know because there is one company round, the other finished, but one month ago, three plays round, running. But I only, I only work one, ex one, one and one, not together. Yes. It's impossible for me. But that's an extraordinary achievement, I think, to have three plays uh, at once. Yes, uh, well, it's it must luck, make you, you know. <laughs> luck? No, luck. I think it's talent, I think it's skill, I think it's intelligence. Oh, no, <laughs> everything that you bring to the theater. It's too bad that you can't stay in New York. Well, excuse me? It's too bad that you can't stay in New no, York. No, it's perfect. <laughs> that's marvelous. No, no problem. No, because, uh, well, I, for me, the theater is the team, you know? Yes. It's, it's the team, and it's no problem because I have my team, I, I belong my team. It's no problem. It's possible for me to, to stay here seven months and my team continue to work. Other day, William Layton uh, will stay here. No problem. Well, we wish you a great deal of luck and success, Jose Carlos Plaza. Thank you very much oh for being God. with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.